So good afternoon and welcome over to Universal Orlando. We came on over, well, one, we wanted to come on over and check out some of the updates on Halloween Horror Nights. However, though, it's, as you can see, it's raining and it's been raining for the last couple of hours. Um, not usually a damper because we go to Universal, there's a lot of indoor stuff to do. Just really want to check out some of the, the um, like the decorations that are up because there's a lot of it up and I kind of want to talk about it. We'll probably talk about it, but it's more gonna be just a day of how do you beat the rain at Universal, but let's head on in and see what there is. See, one of the only benefits of it with the rain, it may not be very busy, so maybe we'll be able to get on and do a lot of things this evening. So finally in, and like I said, it's still kind of raining. It's like, it's, it's light, but it's very heavy drops, like very big drops. But I will tell you, you can tell it is not busy because Despicable Me, Minion Mayhem, it's only 30 minutes, which for about this time of the day on a normal day would be, Probably an hour, hour and a half, probably. So one of the biggest ways we'll know when uh, Halloween Horror Nights closes is when Shrek goes from about a 15 minute wait, like it is now, probably up or to its 30 to 45 minute wait. Because sooner or later they'll take one of these theaters down to make it into one of the houses. Because they've now installed 10 houses in all the scare zones already. And you can see they've got lighting put up. And I think these lights are usually here all year round. But I'm pretty sure they, they'll add some more stuff up high. This is the killer clown. That's this is the killer clown? Yes. The I, house? But yes. Because what I saw on Facebook, they had a sign here that said killer clown. This big, huge sign here. Ooh. Okay. And this is, and this is gonna be one of the scare zones right here. And I thought this was gonna be, because they have a new another scare zone called Vamps 85. And when we came a couple years ago, this was Vamp, the Vamps like 55. It looks like this is gonna be uh, the Chucky one. Because as you can tell, they have the lighting fixture. But as Allie was pointing out, as soon as we walked around the corner, because she saw this when we started walking the other way, and I guess there's gonna be a little Chucky out here all the time. Like, well, I don't think he'll be out like walking around, but he's gonna be right there within there. So, yeah, this is the Chucky section. So I found out the actual name of this. This one will be called the Revenge of Chucky. So essentially Chucky and everything else goes on. That one space where Shrek was, all I thought was Killer Clowns. Well, Killer Clowns is not a house. It's actually one of the scare zones. I pulled up Universal uh, Horror Nights um, website. So Killer Clowns is Killer Clowns from Outer Space and it's another, it's another scare zone. Um, the one scare zone we want to go over to is we want to check out over by that way where we saw the pumpkins the first time we came through a couple weeks ago. But, and then they have, I think they're building a stage, but I thought, I thought, I don't know what that stage is going to be exactly used for because what we had heard is that where Fear Factors is where um, American Academy of Villains was going to be performing this year. So there's no, nothing's been a fit, like they just have the houses and scare zones, but like no maps been released yet. So yeah, they've got this stage built up, but it's like not stage. They just have the cover for it, but it's not like a stage stage like it has been in years past. Um, but we're going to come into this scare zone. I think this is going to be what's called the Harvest. It's like an old barn and like haunts and stuff. It's like one of those original ideas Universal Horror Nights comes through, but I really want to check all this out because this looks just really cool. Anyways, I think this is going to be the Harvest one because like I said, it's something about an old barn. And when we came through, they had like old barn equipment and stuff. But the Township of Cary, 1843. Now I can tell you these are where areas where the characters are going to be hiding behind. Just looking around it. Like they'll be behind, hiding behind things, in things. Ready. Uh, not a fan of being scared. I am not a fan. I just do this because Allie likes it. So, because then they have something covered right here, and I don't know what exactly that's gonna be. But, but I still love the fact. I, I like the fact they have the pumpkins back again this year. But as you keep walking through, and the reason I say this, I think, will be the harvest because there's a tractor right there. So that's what my feeling is. Of course, that's just my thing. You know, again, nothing's been fully announced yet. But man. Just, just imagine it's dark with some fog, eerie music, lights. And it's Halloween Horror Nights for you. So since it's one of those days where you just gotta find ways to beat the, get out of the rain, we're over here by the kid zone and we might as well go do ET Adventures because it's only about a 10 minute-ish wait I think it was posting. Which means 10 minute wait but there's also no one in the park. So I'm thinking more of a walk on, if you wanna be brutally honest. I feel like I see that somewhere else. <laughs> The adventure begins. The uh, island adventure. Yeah. <laughs> but I always like this little tunnel you go into. I always love it. it feels like you come into a like forest or some like an actual forest. 
I think this is still considered one an original ride to Universal. Yeah. So, so, so from day one, this was here. So, was it day one it was here? Uh, I believe so. I can look it up. Uh, one of the many things we'll have to look up into. But I do love they have the little contraption they use. But I also love they have an active waterfall in here. There go the bikes. So I definitely will say, ever since they've reworked it, like, cause I know ET one point went down for like a refurb, but when it went down, they like refixed it because before, whenever we wrote it, he never said our names. Like he never said mine or Allie's name. Last couple times we've been, it says definitely said Allie, but I never heard Mitchell. That was the first time I've ever heard heard him say Mitchell. So kind of cool. I think the, the pet show is going on right now. I think it already started though. Oh well. So the, I think I think this is one of like the the bars, either a food location or a bar. Usually what that means. We'll say though we're walking through Springfield. Nothing really much here. I don't think because in years past they've had a quote unquote scare zone here, but it's been like one of those like. I guarantee you. I bet. I can bet you. If I had if I had to make a joke, I don't know if this would be true, but they should put the killer cat clowns from outer space right here. You know what? That would be amazing. That would. Because it is a clown area. So, makes sense. You know, you have Krusty the Clown, right? Right. So it makes sense. And then you just have all this space. I don't know. Outer space. I don't know if it'll be true because there's nothing up yet, but I feel like it's gonna be one of those killer clowns from outer space. It's gonna be one of the ones who does not require as much theming. So I think there'll be two houses over here. Can't really ever tell though until you know more gets closer because that's when they put the signs up and everything. But like when we walk by the Simpsons area, you can see a couple of of the tents up back there. Because you kind of see through the trees with some tents. It's right next to the smoking section though, so I really don't want to go through the smoking section. But we'll tell you what we want to do. Men in Black's only a 15 minute wait, and it gets us out of the rain. So we're gonna go ahead and do that as well. So, getting better at it, Ali, so she said it's 61,000, but she hit the red button like you're supposed to first, but she hit it like two or three times and it didn't go, and then it, I guess someone else hit it. So even though she got 61,000, I still count that she got the 100,000, so she got 161,000, which is better than what she normally does. Yeah. And then I think I did three, 361,000. Getting better. We just don't ride the ride enough to like get right that good at it. Better than most people though. We didn't get the suit because everyone else in our car wasn't very good. So, but I think right now we're gonna head over to Diagon and maybe see if we can do Green Gods. It's a 25 minute wait, so let's go check it out. So as we walk past, you can kind of look. You see that like screen right there. So that's gonna be where for sure Academy of Villains is performing because that logo is for Academy of Villains. Because their show this year is called Cyberpunk. Because we found out that actually this year's theme is themed towards the 80s. Like Halloween Horror Nights in the 80s. That's why you have Vance 85, Chucky, Cyberpunk. I'm so, so excited. I'm in love with the 80s, but more the 50s. But yes, those are my two favorite eras. Right. And so this will be Academy of Villains Cyberpunk, which I'm stoked for because we didn't come last year. But what I heard last year's show was it was good, but I still think when we came two years ago, that was an awesome show. Plus, you can also see, look, there's another stand. Might be a food stand. So we travel into London. I think instead of going in the normal way of, to Diagon Alley, we may go in like one of these sides, because this is like technically the exit, but not as many people come in and out of here. So one of the few little tricks and tivots to get out of the craziness. But yeah, let's go see what Green Gods looks like. So walking up to Green Gods, and it's only posting a 25 minute wait. I don't know. Look at the dragon. I know. I'm thinking we should do it. We should do it. We're gonna go do it. That means we gotta put everything away though, so we'll see you guys in about 30 minutes. So it only took us about 20 minutes to do that, right? I just don't like the seats. Seats are very, I feel uncomfortable. So now we're going into one of the shops because Ali wants to look at all the Ravenclaw stuff. But kind of nice again to ride that ride again. It's right in the back row. It is kind of nice that they did kind of build like a covered, um, like covered sort of area. 
So when it does rain, it's not as bad. I think though we're gonna head back around towards Fast and Furious and maybe do Fast and Furious and I think that maybe that's the last thing we do. Just because we have to leave soon. All right, coming up on to Fast and the Furious, because like I said, we want to do Fast and the Furious. It says 20 minute wait. I do think they say 20 minutes, but it's, it's could take 20 minutes to get all the way up to the front. So we're gonna head on into do ourselves some Fast and the Furious. I love walking into like this area. I like the cars. So look, there's absolutely no one in line. It has some crazy loud music in here though. I like how they have pieces and parts everywhere. Then you have the this little blue car over here, the Ford. Then you have this one with the lights underneath it. The giant truck with the TVs coming out of it. There's absolutely no line in here. I do like the feeling of it being a um, garage. Much more, it feels better to be honest. And I do, I don't know if I've ever shown this. I think I may have, but there's a Disaster Studios jacket. And if you stop to the left, Beetlejuice up there, because it's used to be Beetlejuice. And then you have this whole big area over here that shows like parts of the movie still. The only problem is is how loud it can get in here with the music. And then the giant truck that's used actually, like, so this is actually, it's not really giving anything away, but this is actually in the ride. It's impressive though. Super impressive. You guys can call me Jay. This is where my boss Ted's work all his tech magic. Right now he had to step out and go get your party busted so you guys can head over to Sullivan. So you guys ready to party? Yeah. yeah. Ready to get chocolate wasted? Chocolate yeah. wasted. <laughs> Just trying to see where your head is at. It's Hobbs. Hobbs, my man. What up? Sorry, brother Taj, no time for chit chat. I just sent you a brief on that BI agent Novak. Has Toretto filled you in? Yeah. He wants us to get everybody over to the party at Sullivan's. Sounds like a plan. That party is a ready-made diversion. Keep it going. We need to discuss how you're gonna get all those civilians out of there without tipping off the FBI. Still think one of my favorite things is the fact that they have the old earthquake, disaster, and Fast and Furious. I still stand by that. That is a very good ride. I like it. Like, I know people don't like it, but I like it. But it definitely, if you can, ride in, in the back row of the first bus or the front few rows of the second bus. And but it was also good for us because there's not very many people going in. So we almost had a row to ourselves, but we didn't because someone else was sitting in there with us. But it wasn't like normal where they packed like eight people across. So it was a lot more fun because it wasn't like I was feeling like I was going to sit on someone or we were being bumped around. And you can see more of the scenes better. So um, we're going to quickly walk through New York, see if there's anything we can see maybe for Halloween Horror Night stuff. And then we're gonna be making our way out. I know a lot of people say they don't like going to the parks on rainy days. Well, yeah, you may not be able to get to like a lot of the outdoor rides, like may not be able to do Rip Red Rocket or um, some of the other outdoor rides. But you know what? If you're not, if you are in the area and you get an annual pass, these are really fun nights to come out and do stuff because it's just not busy at all. So I wonder what this is gonna be, what they're gonna put on this stage. But also, I wonder if they're gonna do the same thing they did last year, where they made it into a store for Halloween Horror Nights that was open like all the time so that'd be nice it would they, be they've been doing it for a quite quite a while actually they have right I'm so stoked to actually go through there look at some props look at some merchandise and I would I just have a great time at HHM <laughs> yeah plus it's will plus with us missing last year just because of some issues we're kind of excited to come back this year so we're gonna go ahead and call it an evening from Universal. We just have some, we do go back home and do some things, but also stop by somewhere. Separate video will be for that. But we had a really good time. Got to see a lot, there's a lot of decorations out now. I'm kind of, saw the Chucky one, which. I'm not, <laughs> I don't like clowns or dolls, but I still go to HHN just for the fun. But then also we, so we didn't, I forgot to talk about this, but after Men in Black, we know Bloom House is going back behind Men in Black, and I usually don't take the camera with me because I don't want them yelling about taking loose articles. 
But we got to do a lot of rides. We did 18 Men in Black, Journey, uh, not Journey. I don't know. Um, we did Harry Potter Escape from Green Gods. I don't know why I can't say it. And then um, Fast and Furious and saw all the props, just what's available. So, man, a lot going on. I'm really excited for Halloween Horror Night. So, with all that being said, as we do head out from a very wet but fun day at Universal Studios, we will see y'all next time.